here's the ban list update. Uh, we have four images to go through. I'm going to try and explain why this list is not as good as you might assume at face value. So first up, they hit Fiend Smith Lacrima. I'm not totally sure why they hit this. The only thing I can think of that makes some kind of sense is to remove a consistent burn option for time because it doesn't actually stop rank six plays. What you can do is rake them into engraver and then you know equip rake them in the grave to your engraver you contact fuse the engraver into necro equip and then engraver summons itself and then you overlay for a rank six they did hit beatrice here which is huge and i have spoken a bit about king calamity before the tldr is if crimson dragon didn't exist this card is not really a problem because it's not easy to summon but if they felt it was reasonable to hit it then you know so be it Opelousa needed to go now, there are other cards, I think, that should have been on the Forbidden list, and I'm going to start off talking about one of them, which is Chaos Argent Force. Yes, hitting the Gimmick Puppet exceeds is a way to help, but if they just get rid of Argent Force, because it has been banned before, the problem kind of goes away to some degree. You could argue that the Field Spell should be hit, but because it's such a new card, they probably just didn't want to hit it immediately. Sure, fine, whatever. Prosperity finally going to one. Huge. I didn't expect them to ban this, but... You know, I'm glad that it's no longer at three. This card is really, really dumb for a variety of reasons that I'm not going to get into right now. Grass coming back is kind of funny. Skill drain being hit is needed because you have to understand that with the Snake Eye cards and the White Woods and I believe the Azamina stuff from next set, they all have the capability to send Floodgates as cost so they can stop the opponent from playing in the event that they are hand trapped enough to not be able to make that strong of a board, and then they can just freely continue their own combo on their turn. This is necessary. I'm glad this is here. Uh, this is a little funny. Really not sure what's up with this. Not really complaining about it. Uh, but yeah, the impact of Ash and Poplar doesn't really matter when you can consistently get into the Ash because you can just search out your original Sinful Spoil or, you know, search it otherwise. Like, yes, some lists were running to Poplar, but this thing going to one is kind of inconsequential yeah you could banish it but i'm pretty sure am, am, am i misremembering i don't know i feel like you can get this thing back the better thing with snake eye in my opinion would have been to just outright ban original spoil to decouple it from the bell star package so they couldn't get the extra advantage off of it and i know people saying like oh well what if you want to run it in the other fire decks what if uh you want to run it with azamina Azamina already in the OCG is providing enough extra like utility for the deck that Snake Eye is continuing to in a slightly different form still kind of reign supreme. I think if you decoupled that, if you made it more difficult for that to be a thing, then hey, the deck is maybe okay. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm not currently liking this. Branded Fusion is a little weird. Like, I can understand them limiting this on one hand, like, Branded has other options, but if the issue is the puppet lock, why not do what I think is Master Duel and the OCG has done in getting rid of Ido and the puppet, right? Like, if that is the issue, why aren't those two cards banned instead of Branded Fusion being limited? Or, like, why didn't you get rid of Sanctifier? Or, like, you could have, like, still done this and ban some combination of those three cards either banning the sanctifier or banning the ido and the gimmick puppet nightmare like i really don't understand why like if you're gonna hit branded this is the way that you're hitting branded um this also could be seen as a voiceless voice hit because i, I don't think voices voice is doing the branded mix as much anymore but it was going for that in some of the builds so like for this, I'm not really, like, bothered. I'm more just wondering what their reasoning was. Uh, then we go to semis. Why the fuck was Colossus ever unrestricted? I mean, people haven't really been going into it, but let me remind you that any two cards can overlay for Infernal Flame Banshee, right? And then Banshee can find Flag, and Flag can find either Corridor, which allows you to go into Colossus, or the Protoss, which is still free. The... Uh, Dragon Ruler is coming back is perfectly fine. I'm not sure if I should feel some type of way about Tiger. Tiger's a really good card. I, I, I don't know if I should feel some way about that. Ib going to two. This is like a generator runic buff, maybe. I don't know. And then in terms of cards going to three, Time Seal is a meme. Ding Long uh, hasn't done anything too crazy. 
AFD is probably fine with its errata. Plush Fire was eroded in the OCG, and it was eroded for us, I think, like a day or two ago. Kieran coming back. Hey, why not? Uh, Red Rose Dragon going to three and Armageddon Knight going to three. I don't know what the implication of these are off the top of my head. I can't really think of anything that is necessarily too broken with these, but it does give you some added consistency for certain setups. You could maybe like pitch Dark Worm off of it for combo starting purposes, maybe Dark Warrior stuff. Like this stuff, um, I, I, I don't think it's necessarily irrelevant. But off the dome, I'm not really sure what it pushes for. Again, I'm glad that, like, these hits are here. But the Forbidden section should have been more loaded. And going into the next set, Centurion is going to have access to its new, like, Synchro Tuner. And is going to be doing really stupid shit with Crimson Dragon. So th this list is kind of disappointing. It, it is really, really disappointing. But on the upside, we're kind of going into Yu-Gi-Oh!'s offseason. So it might not be so bad. But yeah, the format is kind of the same to some degree. Also, I find it really ridiculous that the only hit to Yubel is like Spirit Gates and technically Lacrima. What? 